Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another installment of The Now Review. Apologies for the delay, there's been lots of things going on which I'll explain in another video in a, in a little while's time, but for now I've got another review for you here today, and we have another drop in the extra series of yearbooks. So sit back, relax, and time travel with me 50 years into the past as we take a look at Now Yearbook 73 Extra or now Yearbook Extra 1973, whatever your preference is. So as we all know, these are the three CD additions to the mainline yearbooks that come out. These are basically like bonus or extra uh, packages for these, introducing often around 60 more songs from that year that couldn't fit on the original yearbook release, and this time it's the turn of 1973. So looking at the cover, it's like they always are, They're very exactly the same almost as the standard Yearbook 73, except with a few different features notably at the top it says collector's edition i never understand why they put that on the extra releases if anything i'd argue they should more go on the main yearbooks and then you have extra there on the right hand side in its little box with that 70s font and at the bottom it says 60 more essential hits from 1973 whether or not they're essential i'll let you be the judge Looking at the spine, this is always presented in the standard 3 CD flip open case, so it's a lot slimmer than a lot of the other now releases, particularly the special editions of the yearbook, so they will fit nice and easily onto yourself. They can be a bit fragile, watch those spines, they can be bent or damaged quite easily. And now let's flip it on over and take a look at that all important track list. Okay, so CD1, we've got Slade with Squeeze Me, Please Me. You have Wizard with Angel Fingers, T-Rex with Solid Gold Easy Action, Sweet and Hellraiser, Susie Quattro with Daytona Demon, Mud with Hypnosis, Barry Blue with Do You Wanna Dance, Mott the Hoople with All The Way From Memphis, Roxy Music and Pajama Rama, David Essex with Lamplight, is that a cover of the, the Bee Gees song? Could be. 10cc with The Dean and I, Gilbert O'Sullivan with Y-O-Y-O-Y, Donny Osmond with The Twelfth of Never, Jermaine Jackson with Daddy's Home, an excellent cover version there from Jermaine, one of his best solo hits definitely. Gladys Knight and the Pips with The Look of Love, The Stylistics with Break Up to Make Up, The Jackson 5 with Skywriter, New York City with I'm Doing Fine Now, The Spinners with Ghetto Child, and Timmy Thomas with Why Can't We Live Together. So that's 20 tracks on CD1 there. Only a few of them I recognize, but we'll talk about that a bit later. CD2 kicks off with Paul McCartney and Wings and Hi Hi Hi, Electric Light Orchestra with Showdown, Manfred Mann's Earth Band with Joybringer, Nazareth with Broken Down Angel, Geordie with All Because of You, Status Quo with Paper Plane, The Edgar Winter Group with Frankenstein, great little track there, Alice Cooper with Hello Hooray, Argent with God Gave Rock and Roll to You, Albert Hammond with The Free Electric Band, The Allman Brothers Band with Rambling Man, Hudson Ford with Pick Up the Pieces, Paul Simon with Loves Me Like a Rock, Dave Edmonds with Baby I Love You, The Jackson Fiver here again with Hallelujah Day, Eddie Kendrick's Keep on Trucking. Junior Walker and the All-Stars with Take Me Girl, I'm Ready. Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye, two of the Motown greats with You're a Special Part of Me. Sylvia with Pillow Talk. And Dobie Gray with Drift Away. So another 20 tracks, so we're on 40. CD3 kicks off with Elton John and Daniel, one of his best early hits, if you ask me. Carly Simon with The Right Thing To Do. Jim Cro... Is it Cro... Cro croquet? Croche? Crochet? <laughs> Jim with Time In A Bottle, really lovely little tune. Helen Reddy with Delta Dawn. John Denver with Rocky Mountain High, Eric Weisberg and Steve Mandel with Dueling Banjos, Slade with My Friend Stan, T-Rex with The Groover, Wizard with Ballpark Incident, Mott the Hoople with Honolucci Boogie, Blue Mink and Randy, White Plains with Step Into a Dream, Dawn feet Tony Orlando with Say, Has Anybody Seen My Sweet Gypsy Rose? The New Seekers with a mashup of Pinball Wizard and See Me Feel Me, Tony Christie with Avenues and Alleyways, great track, Guy Darrell with I've Been Hurt, Al Martino with Spanish Eyes, really beautifully sung. Elvis Presley with Fool. Charles Aznavour with The Old Fashioned Way. And we round off, oddly, with Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crip Kickers with Monster Mash. Yeah, that Monster Mash. That came out in 1962 originally, but it hit number one in the UK, or it did really well in the UK, all the way in 1973. Funny how these things bounce back. So in total, that is 60 tracks across three CDs. Now, I'll tell you my thoughts on them in just a little second, but I just want to open this up, show you what's inside. So on the right there, we've got the adverts, quite fittingly for all the other 70s-related yearbooks we've had so far, which mainly encompass the main 1973, 1978, and 1979. It asks you to follow them on all their social medias. Ironically, now the Twitter logo is gone. It's now follow them on X. 
the dreaded X platform. The discs are what you'd expect, I suppose. It's this gradual tone of red that shifts downwards, so CD1 starts more vibrant, and then as you get to CD3, it's a lot more of a darker red. Really nice and simple, borrows the logo uh, from the front there, including the extra moniker, so no complaints here from me. So in terms of this uh, track list, what do I think? Well, I've always said the 70s is an era that I'm not as familiar with as, say, the 80s or 90s and beyond. So I'm always a bit uh, a bit blind going into these, especially with the extra releases. There are a few tracks I know, as I mentioned. Uh, Daddy's Home by Jermaine Jackson is a great track from him. The, the two Jackson 5 tracks are good too. I recognized a fair bit of uh, CD3, like of Spanish Eyes by Al Martino there, Avenues and Alleyways, Tony Christie, The Monster Mash, of course, Daniel Bale and John. So there's smatterings here, but I'm, I'm excited to really delve into this because as I've always said with the yearbook extras in particular, no matter what decade or year they're covering, there's always a few tracks that are always new discoveries for me. And that is still one of the big joys I have in buying music in general on disc is that I might get something that I'm not expecting or I'm completely surprised by. I wouldn't say this is my favorite though. I, I definitely think the 80s and 90s and even millennium releases stand above the 70s ones for me, but that is purely personal preference. I mean, some of you might look at this track list and think, oh, this, you know, this is a load of rubbish. Or some of you might look at it and think, wow, what a gold mine of hits from 73. I mean, you know, you, you can see clearly the big artists were of the day, so like Slade, Wizard, T-Rex, they appear a lot on here. So as always, you can do your research or you can go in blind if you fancy that sort of approach. But yeah, some really good gems on here, but this is going to be one that is going to be a, more of a discovery for me. In terms of where you can get it, all the usual places, it retails roughly between, say, £9, £10, £11, depending on where you go. I got my copy from HMV, as I tend to do, but you can go with places like Amazon or your local uh, independent music retailer if you have one, if they still stock new CDs, or even your supermarkets like Morrison's, Asda, if you happen to have one that still stocks new music, you can get it from there as well. But that's all for this installment of The Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know your thoughts on this particular release in the comments down below. Are you going to pick it up or are you going to pass? Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And in the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV Now. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time for another spin on the turntable.